They're off in the Indian summer, presented by Keeneland Select. Rip around, it was quick into stride. Rip around, determined to clear all the inside traffic and quickly get over to the rail well before the entrance to the far turn. Does so. Rip around on top by just a length. And then Fairhope Curly is toward the outside in second. Let's so. It's down toward the inside third. Pino's little girl is fourth up on the outside. Cows is fifth, about five lengths off the lead into the turn. Committee of one, sixth up on the outside amidst waves, is seventh against the rail, seventh lengths from the lead. And then Charge travels in the eighth position and is followed by Candy Maker and Sponge Bath at the back. 21.4 seconds. The time for the opening quarter. Rip around is the leader. Fairhope Curly is second. Bledsoe looking toward the inside. Third is still four lengths off the lead. Pino's little girl and Cows. Cows is kicking in between horses. Pino's little girl is right there amidst waves is trying to come late. And here comes Committee of One. Committee of One has clear sailing down the outside. Charge is diving to the inside. Committee of one amidst waves. Down to the wire. Photo for the win. In the Indian summer presented by Keeneland Select. Either committee of one or amidst waves. Shards was right there as well. We have had some thrilling finishes over the last two days. Committee of one or amidst waves. Nothing separating them. Oh, what a great race. Committee of one back early. Looked like he was going to run right by uh, amidst waves, who looks like she's going to be the winner at this point. But if you look at it, in the lime silks on the outside, committee of one. Looks like he's going to run right by uh, amidst waves with the blade face, yellow cap. And then you have Charge charging on the inside. I'm going to guess. Oh, I can't oh, guess. I can't guess. No. It's too close. It's a matter of the bob, what you call but it. Nose from, is on the wire. From this together. angle, the outside horse always had just a little bit of an advantage because it's not a true side shot. It's a, it's a bit of an angle. Also, size-wise, just look that, a little oh, bit God. bigger than the Philly. Again, whoever put their nose yeah. down in stride is going to get this win. Look, good effort. Obviously, win or lose by committee of one, and also really game effort for a midst wave. And Bledsoe got stuck back. behind horses, uh, never had a chance the last 16th of a mile. Taking a look at both of the horses and riders galloping back together, probably having a little bit of a conversation. Who do you think got it? Let's get to Michelle with Steve Asmussen. Steve, what do, you, what do you think? That I don't want to lose two days in a row that closely. Hopefully it'll come out on our side. Did you see any kind of indication from the rider afterwards? Yesterday we saw a couple of whip waves going on. I didn't notice that. Overall, what were your thoughts about the, the run? Oh, he's a lovely horse. He's very competitive. We're excited to have him. Another nice horse for the road of Sons. It's super. Thanks, Steve. We'll, uh, we'll sit here and keep hoping for you right now. Woo! Did you get it? Yes, yes winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs>